They went more than nine minutes unnoticed, and tonight the search is on for two people who stole one family's car and then left the other car ransacked in New Orleans. Good evening and thanks for watching. I'm Mike McDaniel. The family was forced out of their home first by Hurricane Ida. Now they're worried they may not be as safe as they hoped they would be. As Sam Winstrom explains, this is the third time the family has been victimized. Talking to each other with no masks or visible weapons, it would be easy to mistake these two car thieves for innocent bystanders. But surveillance cameras captured the moment they broke into two cars, stealing one of them. No fear, didn't cover their faces, didn't try to hide anything or anything. You know, they were like hugging and stuff in the parking lot, just... It was very bizarre. It all happened just after midnight this Thursday in Lakeview. Video shows the two thieves drop a black bag on the ground and then hang out for a few minutes before opening the car doors without having to smash the windows or do any damage. In total, it took them more than nine minutes to get into the cars and drive off with the SUV. There's cars driving past like constantly and they just didn't care, you know, just took what they wanted. The victims asked us to hide their identities out of fear for their safety. After the brazen car theft, they're worried that they might not be as safe in their temporary home as they thought they were. Well, I don't want her to go out here alone anymore, so my kids are definitely not going to be out here alone anymore. The family moved to Lakeview after Hurricane Ida forced them out of their home. Repairs are being made, but the insurance company went under earlier this year, forcing them to front the costs and take on a lot of debt. Now, they're adding the cost of a replacement car to the mix. We can't afford our bills now, much less another car note and, and things like that, you know, but... We still have to go to work, and so what do you do? New Orleans police are investigating the thefts, and they're hoping the video will lead to a quick arrest. But for the victims, the damage is already done. This can't keep happening to people, you know. I just, it, it needs to be addressed. I don't know what the answer is, but something, we need to do something about it because it's happening constantly to yeah. people, and it's just devastating. Sam Winstrom, Eyewitness News. Just so frustrating. Now that full surveillance video will be available on our website, WWLTV.com. If you do happen to recognize those car thieves, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers.